Welcome to another Epic 7 video. For those interested in data mine for what's coming next in the game, this video is for you. Before we start, I would like to thank the people behind these info that's extracted from the game files. So shout out to you guys, I will leave the source link in the description. Okay, first info we got are your regular skills multipliers on heroes, especially for those interested on the new buffs and how the units will perform. First, we have Ruel of Light, and as you can see, her S1 heals all allies now, and you'll note that her soul burn does insane amount of healing to everyone. 35% of her max HP is huge, especially for people interested in using her in PvE as well. This also means that her best set would be counter, because she will abuse her AoE healing every time she counterattacks, which can win you matches. Next, we have ML Aramintha. For those who don't understand what her effectiveness to attack boost means, I'll explain it to you simply. Let's say your Araminta have 200 effectiveness. That means she gains 1.8k extra attack thanks to her buff. So this means you can build her with bulk and even drop the attack main stat on Necklace, which makes her insanely strong bruiser, and can even solo setups like I showed you in my showcase video of her a couple of days ago. So now you don't really need a lot of attack on her. 2.7k is more than enough to hit the 4.5k attack with effectiveness. Next we have ML Crow and Pavel. Crow didn't get any damage changes, but Pavel got an insane boost to his S3 when Soul Burn. There is a showcase I made for him coming for you to see the difference. Pavel had two issues, and this balance patch fixed one of them. He had a problem finishing off high HP target after he S2 into them, and that was very bad. As for his second issue, his fighting spirit is completely shut down by ML Politis or by anti-crit buffs and passives. So without his allies landing a crit, you can kiss his S2 goodbye. Hopefully they fix that too. Moving on, we have Designer Lilibet. Another great buff, and I have already showcased her for you. Not only she gain immunity on her S2 now, but also she got massive damage increase in defense penetration. You can actually build her with destruction set and full damage, and she can cleave and one-shot everyone easily. Her S1 defense break is also amazing, especially if you are a limited flan abuser. You can take enemies one by one thanks to it if the defense break lands. So overall, she is a complete unit now and can be super hard to counter. Next, we have ML Karen, whom I also showcased for you. His damage and fixed damage boost helped him a lot, but he still suffer because of how much stats he requires to work. Not to mention, his counter stance can be easily stripped. I hope they fix one of his major issues in the future. For our next hero, we have Melissa. Another damage boost, and I have a showcase coming for you as well. Her S2 hits like a truck now, but I personally think she is still lacking. If I was to change something about her, is to make her ignore effect resistance on S3 if her attack is higher than the target. This will allow her to fully strip and land curse, because without her soul burn she is useless in most scenarios. That minor change could make her back to tier list easily. Next we have Sez. Another solid damage buff and I have already showcased him for you. His S2 can now trigger by allies if they attack an enemy with 30% or less HP, which makes his cleave setups even more scary. Overall, the damage increase was needed in this very tanky meta. Another winner of the patch is Mortalix. I mean, you already saw what I did with him with two different builds. His damage, utility, and immunity to crowd control debuffs is top tier. He can solo teams by himself, and he can shut down any counterattack by just being on the field. Mort got the best buff in Epic 7 history, I believe. Last three, we have Yulha, ML Furious, and Blooming Lydica. Furious only received a condition change. As for Lydica and Yulha, they received a decent damage boost. I already showed you how Yulha can now take 35k HP tanks with her S3 Soul Burn. This will make her a threat in manual fights. She does insane damage and can guarantee a kill if her HP is low enough. That's why I paired her with Abigail to guarantee her with 1 HP left before you S3 into the bulkiest unit and take him out. Lydica got a decent change, and I believe the devs saw how bad her damage was, especially after Harsetti's release. Her speed difference in order to maximize her damage was very high, but now it's a bit better. Overall, both buffs are solid and can be used more into current meta. Alright. Now that we have seen the multipliers changes, let me show you some insane info we also got from the game files. These are the camping lines from the upcoming ML Lua's dialogues. And you'll see that we have ML Huayung, ML Taiyu, and Dark Adden, possibly. Just so you know, 
Everything mentioned in the camping data mine are real and not rumors or speculations, so it's only a matter of when we are getting these heroes. As for Dark Aiden, it's not confirmed yet, but people are basing it on the fact that it's the only element missing from Aiden's tree. So her being dark is very possible, but how will it turn out to be is a mystery. Because I personally doubt it will be an ML5 on the Mystic Banner. I think it will be released as a story or something. Who knows? But like I said, we now know that ML Huayung and Taiyu are a thing now, and are already in the game files. So let's hope we get more info on their kit, and looks very soon. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this type of video, so let me know what you think in comments down below. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to leave a like. Enjoy some fun PvP footage. See you in the next one. Faces fade to black as they move from